Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics, and today we're... Can you get the mic boom out of the shot, please? Oh, never mind. It's just you trying to uh, get your way into the shot. Okay, all right. Well, hey, anyway, today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite dinos on all of Ark Survival Evolved, just because they have such a wide range of uses. And I'm talking about, I mean, not just one or two specialized uses, a wide range of uses. These guys right here, if you get them at a low level, you can actually take them, raise them up, have them be your best buddies, have them be your primary mount until you get something that is just far surpasses them. But for the most part, these guys are really hard to surpass. Um, the only thing that really beats them out for like the open area is... Uh, Thylacolios or maybe Argentavises. That's why these guys are t part of my top three favorite dinos. There's my number one, which is definitely Thylacolio. My number two, which is definitely Argentavis. And my number three, which is the Baryonyx. That's right. Baryonyxes, these guys right here uh, are just literally one of the best dinos that you can get in arc not only are they fast not only are they uh um can do a ton of damage but these guys can go just about anywhere and they can do it in style that's right yeah um now when you're taming one of these guys you uh want to uh generally take a look over at the uh Oh, the swampy areas, the coastal areas, stuff like that. Let's go grab one of my Argentavises. Let's go see if we can find one of these guys in the wild. Because let me make sure I've got everything I need. Oh, I need Trank Darts. Okay, but yeah, if you're going out to find these guys, you can uh, build up a Taming Pen. You can use Bolas even if you wanted to. I would recommend going with a smaller Taming Pen. Um... It doesn't have to be super big. Just something that, it could be like a little two by two, but make sure you go at least two walls high on the side because these guys right here, they can kind of glitch out a little bit and jump over a one high wall. Um, but uh, two high walls keeps them in just fine. All right, but yeah, like I said, you can use uh, bolas on these guys, but they do have a little bit of torpor, so you want to make sure if you're going to bullet that you commit. All right, because once these guys uh, break free of the bullet, they're going to eat your face. Unless if you can get enough torpor on it, it's where they start running. But for the most part, um, we're just going to go over, see if we can find one. We'll be discussing a few places where you can find these dudes. And for the most part, when it comes around to a uh, Baryonyx and finding a high-level Baryonyx, it's just luck. For the most I mean, there have been times where the first time I go out and I, f I look for a Baryonyx, I find one right away. A uh, nice high-level, like 140, 145, 150 Baryonyx. Sometimes I have to sift through hours and hours and hours of level 10s, level 20s, level 30s, level 50s. And then, of course, you'll get that one, that level 105, where you're going, oh my gosh, do I tame this guy or do I just gank it so I can clear up the spawn? But yeah, um... When it comes around to finding nice high-level Baryonyxes, it's really hit or miss. It's kind of luck. Um, it's not like, uh, you know, certain dinos where you can just go out and you can just farm repeatedly. You know the best spots where they spawn, and one is going to definitely be there all the time. Baryonyxes, they're not kind of like that. Um, but yeah, we're going to discuss a little bit about the ins and outs, the do's and don'ts when we uh, are taming a Baryonyx, because they can be tricky. They can be tricky to tame, but you want to make sure when you go out that you have, I need to grab my sickle, make sure that you have a sickle with you whenever you go out to tame one, and a sword is also pretty preferred, um, just make sure that you have some regular stone arrows, and some uh, either trank arrows or shocking trank darts, or regular trank darts, and then uh, make sure you have your sickle, if you're going to do bullas, make sure you have bullas, if you're going out to tame baryonyxes, you generally have to be, have all, you got to have a lot of uh, tools in your tool basket because these guys, they can be kind of tricky. All right, so hey, let me gather up a bit more stuff and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, now when hunting for Baryonyxes, you pretty much want to make sure that uh, if you have access to an Argent, 
use it. Trust me, it makes everything so much easier, so much better. If you have access to, say, like a uh, um, saber tooth or a dire wolf, something that you can whip out your weapon on the back of it, uh, you can tame it at a pretty low level. Just know that you're going to be taking some damage. Um, I want, um, for the most part, though, if you're coming over to the swamp, make sure that you watch out for these little turds right here. Caprosuccuses. These guys right here will make sure you have the worst possible day that you could have at all. But, um, yeah, right here, uh, there is, I swear, there's a Baryonyx in this uh, little bit right here inside this trees, inside this little glade. There he is. There he is. All right, cool. Wrong button. All right, well, it was actually the right bu um, button, but I missed. Okay, so, missed button. All right, so, let's get you. Come on, buddy. And you can just pick these guys up with an Argentavis. Which, they'll hit you a little bit, you know, but they're not going to do if the... What level is this guy? What level are you? Level 85. Okay, we've got a level 85 one. This guy, he's going to be doing a little bit of damage. It's not going to be too much damage, but it's going to be enough so where eventually it's going to hurt. So where if you're going to be taming these guys, I would recommend that you... Can you just stop for a minute? All right, thank you. I'm talking here, all right? Um, yeah, you want... Seriously? Seriously, just occasionally? You're a jerk, man. <laughs> All right. Okay, so, but uh, yeah, if you're going to be taming these guys, I would recommend that you uh, um, have a taming pin kind of close to where you think you're going to at least be farming it or just carry around all the stuff on your Argent. So once you find one that's a decent level, you can uh, quickly jump down, not, um, set down the taming pin, and then come back and then get them uh, oh, dropped off inside the taming pen or just lure them into the taming pen say if you got like a saber tooth or a dire wolf or something like that but i want to make sure everybody is clear on this if you see a baryonyx in swimming in water do not get close to it it is super important that you do not get close to it because they have a spin attack which we will be showing off later and we're definitely going to be showing them that off later um they have a spin attack that will knock you out off of whatever dino you're on it will stun you, and it will make you have a very bad day. All right, and I, apparently I was going the wrong way. Sorry about that. Yeah, I was going the wrong direction to my taming pen. So, yeah, I had to set him down. I had to eat some meat and so I could come back and finish the... You can go... As the thing I'm talking about is currently engaged in the activity of eating me. So everybody's engaged with something different, and, uh, yeah, apparently Flinger's Argent tastes really, really good. Okay, so now what I was saying earlier is uh, with one quick tail swipe of the um, Baryonyx, they, you will go from very comfortable and thinking that you're going to win and everything's great and everything's dandy to one tail swipe, you're knocked off your dino, you're dead, your shoulder pet's dead, you're going back to get your corpse, whatever dino you were on, you're worried about it's going to um, die, chances are it's probably going to die because chances are you were somewhere either in the swamp, near the swamp, near the redwoods, in the redwoods, um, in a watery area with lots of stuff is going to come down and eat your dino and it's just a bad, bad trip. So you want to make sure that you never, ever, ever go near a Baryonyx when it's in the water. If you see a Baryonyx in the water, get out of there. They are so much worse than any shark could ever be. Anything like that, it's super bad. It's super horrible. Just don't do it. Trust me. All right, so I'm going to get this guy over to the taming pen. Hopefully Super Dodo makes it. Super Dodo is going to have to heal up a little bit again. I'm doing a lot of he uh, Super Dodo heal ups in this uh, episode. But yeah, we're going to get over to my taming pen, get this guy knocked out, get him tamed. As my red uh, overlay starts kicking in to high gear, as I go over right where I started, because apparently I was going the wrong way. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, and we're back, and here's just a regular, just straight up taming pin that I've got just set up. And uh, this right here is uh, um, probably one of the easiest ways of taming these guys. Like I said, you could bully these guys. Oh, I don't like Dillas in my area. No, 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 come back here. All right, I don't want to... It's not a Dillo killing episode, all right? It's a Baryonyx episode. Okay, so yeah, when you're knocking these guys out, you can do it with crossbow. Um, you can do it with trank darts. I would recommend doing it with trank darts just because... But you want to make sure that you have some either uh, prime fish meat on you um, or some um, oh, packy rhino kibble. And since I have my kibble pen... Or my kibble farm is right up there. I've got plenty of pack of packy rhino kibble. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna be using that. But if you um, just remember, uh, these guys will not. Oh, sorry about the put that away. 
All right, these guys will not eat regular uh, raw meat. They won't eat regular prime meat. Uh, they will only... All right, they will only eat fish meat, raw fish meat. Um, they will only eat cooked fish meat. Uh, they will only eat... Uh, Raw prime fish meat and cooked prime fish meat. Um, their best one, if you're not using kibble, is... I saw that. What are you run? What? Are you just running for the sake of running? Seriously, dude? You freaked me out, man. Alright. Uh, but these guys, the best thing, if you're not going to be using kibble, is raw prime fish meat. And then the easiest way to gather that is uh, with saber tooth salmon. Go out, you grab a sickle, and then you harvest them up. With your sickle. Just, yeah. Hack them apart like that. Yes. Instead of harvesting them with your pick or your... That's what you're running from. I see the Carnos over there. All right. All right. And I see a Dillo. Come here, buddy. Bye, buddy. All right, Super Dodo, we got a mission. All right, we've got Carnos in the area. Come here, buddy. Uh-oh, and Raptors. What is, why is this area so dangerous right now? All right, give me a sec. All right, so Operation Dino Cleanup has been uh, fulfilled. All right, we finished that. All right, so now let's get over here. I'm gonna leave you right there. If you start getting eaten on, all right. All right, I'm just gonna get this guy knocked out. And it's, he's actually really easy to knock out. Um, you really don't have to worry too much about it. And then, but one of the key things with Baryonyx is if you uh, do see them getting really bloody, you can't just knock a dino in there and then let them heal up because that's not how Baryonyxes work. They will only eat fish. But... Thankfully, they don't have a ton of torpor. Oh, and he got knocked out. Or he got hit once. All right, but yeah, it, that doesn't really matter because we're just going to be using this guy for demonstration purposes. So yeah, I'm going to take uh, my kibble. I'm going to stick it on there. You know, you're probably not going to need that much. So here, let's put that on there. You know what? There we go. Four kibble. Let's see how well that works. And he's actually going to be eating up pretty fast because their food uh, generally goes down really fast compared to the rest of them. So, I mean, look at how fast his food's going down in relation to his torpor. His food's going down, I mean, at probably about like four or five per second. I mean, it's like 1.7 per tick or 1.3, 1.4 per tick. But his torpor is going down a lot slower than the rest of his food. So yeah, he's going to be taming up super, super fast. So you might not even need any narcotics for these guys if you're using kibble. Um, if you're using uh, um, oh, uh, um, prime fish meat, then he probably still won't need any... Uh, um, narcotics, but if you're using regular fish meat, you will need, um, narcotics. But it's not gonna be that many narcotics. Just enough to kind of take the edge off, you know? Just take the edge off your baryonyx while you're knocking them out. Yeah, kind of thing like that. Yeah. All right. All right, and this guy's saddle is really easy to make. It's, uh, you, it only takes level 49, which is why these are one of my top, um, dinos to tame before you hit level 50 because they are just so amazing and that way there if you actually tame one before you hit level 49 as soon as you hit level 49 you can just craft up that saddle you can get this thing on it and then it everything will be super amazing and let me show you um just how useful these guys are all right let's go like this um bam let's get over here let's grab this dude and yeah he should be getting up here in just a sec all right, yeah, he's already up and waiting for us. All right, so we're going to get this guy uh, tamed up. All right, sit right there. That, was that you? Dude, stop making all those noises. Freaking me out. All right, so yeah, we'll put that on there. Take this from him. And then also, but one of the things you have to... You have to remember is these guys won't eat anything but fish meat. But there is a little tactic to... Uh, uh, on like the regular servers, the... um. The public servers and uh, also on like local play a way to make their food last a little bit longer is if you have access to a Industrial grill just cook off all the fish meat you get before you put it on it It makes the spoil time a lot longer and then it'll just sit on there So where whenever they put their food on I do that for all my otters stuff like that is I'll just cook off the uh, um, fish meat before I give it to them All right, but now that we've got this guy 
And he's done doing his first poop. Oh, so cute. First poop. All right, you'll notice these guys are actually pretty dang fast. And if you get a really, if you get a fully imprinted one, it say like if you breed them, you get imprinted ones, which I would totally recommend doing, by the way. Yes, if you if you get Baryonyxes, breed them, imprint them, make them awesome. Trust me, the more awesome your Baryonyx, the better off you will be, especially when we get to uh, one of the next things we're going to do, because that's going to be going to a cave. Because for the most part, unless if it's uh, certain caves, a Baryonyx is the best hands-down dino to take inside most caves. And I'm not joking about this. N um, everything is completely thoroughly tested. I'll put links down in some of the videos. I did it. I went through and I did probably about 10 different episodes on which dino is the best dino to take inside certain caves. And in every single cave where the Baryonyx would fit, the Baryonyx was the best one to take in there. It beat out Direwolf, it beat out Sabretooth, it beat out Raptor, and it beat out everything else you could possibly take. Beat out Frogs, beat out everything. Thylacolio... Serious, I'm not joking here. The Baryonyx is the best caving mount. If it'll fit, it's the best. It's as simple as that. And there's only a couple caves on the island that the Baryonyx will not fit into. Um, there is one cave that I would like to say that the um, Thylacolio is better, and that is the, Car the Carno Island cave over on the side. That's only because uh, the... the um, Oh, the Thylacolio can climb the inside of the walls. That's the one where it's just a big pit in the bottom. Now, down the bottom is the artifact of the Devourer. You go in, and then if you... On a Thylacolio, you can just come in, eat the bats at the very beginning, jump down the bottom, get the artifact, then fight your way up. On a on a Baryonyx, it's not that easy, um, but it you can do that cave with the Baryonyx. It's just not the best one for it. But um, the Chitin Cave, um, the Artifact of the Hunter, the um, Cave of the Hunter... Um, all the other caves that the uh, um, Baryonyx will fit in, the Baryonyx is the best one. Matter of fact, I would even recommend on some caves, if the Baryonyx won't fit in there, breed one and stick it in there because it is super awesome. Um, it's like the, uh, what is it? Uh, not the Hunter. It's the other green artifact. Uh, I forget the name. The one where only a Raptor will fit into. The, um, the Mid-South Cave is what they call it. It's, uh, um... I heard that. But yeah, it's the Mid-South Cave, and it's the one with all the uh, water tunnels inside of it. They keep changing it. Um, Baryonyx used to be able to fit in there, and then they were amazing in there. But now only raptors will fit in there, frogs will fit in there, stuff like that. Just things that will either jump over or squeeze right through. I would actually recommend breeding up a couple Baryonyx is really nice and just popping them inside there. Yeah. And it's pretty nice. Ride your way down with a raptor, switch over right at that little bit, get on your Baryonyx. And everything's super, super easy. I saw that. You just popped into existence right there. You pooped and popped. You guys see that thing poop and pop? Oh, yeah. Totally pooping and popping. But also another thing that I would like to uh, cover with these Baryonyxes is another amazing little bit. Because for this, though, we have to get scuba gear. So let's go get some scuba gear and let's go get one of our really well imprinted um, Baryonyxes. And I'll show you what I mean. All right, so now we're over here at my little beach base. This is the one I use for my water pens, my water dinos, everything like that. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be... Um, uh, I'm going to be discussing one of the best and easiest ways, and this is one of the um, ones that I already had tamed up, because I want to bring out my best one. I want to show my best, just so uh, you guys can kind of get a feel for this. All right, now, um, what I want to do... Now, this was just a tamed up Baryonyx that I had that I was used for breeding. All my breeding ones ended up dying <laughs> because I was using them for stupid stuff. Um, yeah, and by the way, um, taming Moses with these guys, it, it's, it's fun, but it's a little tricky, and I'll have to show you. All right, but yeah, um, let's head over here to my water pen because when you finally get high enough level to start making your way into the water portions of Ark... The easiest way to make the transition from land to water is on the back of a Baryonyx because these guys are so versatile. I mean, look at this. You go right from the ground into water and they go they go pretty, they go respectively fast. Now, inside the water, they have a left click, which is just a bite, and then they have a right click, which is a spin. 
Now that spin attack of theirs is quite powerful. Here, let me show you. Let's go over here. Um, now the spin attack, it stuns everything around them. And this is why I tell you, don't go near them when they're in the water. Watch. Everything around me just got stunned. So now I can just eat it at my own leisure. Yeah, and that stun has a really fast cooldown, but it also lasts for about 10 seconds or so, maybe 12 seconds. It actually lasts quite a long time. Now, I'm not going to sit there and start chewing on those uh, Carbo Animuses, even though they really want me to. But yeah, um, here, let me go show you my uh, underwater pen, because most of the dinos over here in my underwater pen, I tamed using a baryonyx yes it's that cool so not only are they amazing for caves but they're also amazing for taming up stuff yes my mosa right there with my tech um saddle on it yes that right there was tamed up with a baryonyx my original sea pickle right here was tamed up with a baryonyx a basilosaurus and then also um, my shark was not tamed up with that but, um, yeah, if I were to go out and get a Pleasy, I would use a Baryonyx. Why? Because when you're on the back of a Baryonyx, you can use your crossbow. Which means if you have a really nice saddle on a Baryonyx, or you don't even have to have a nice saddle. It, it does help. But if you have the imprint bonus on a Baryonyx, you can go out and you can face tank Moses. Here, let me put on this. You can face tank Moses. So where, um, while it's eating you, while it's beating on you, you can just shoot it. Just like that. And then when it starts running, you can chase its butt down all on a Baryonyx. Baryonyxes are probably one of the most useful dinos in the game just because of how much utility they have. They can go into the caves. They can go into the deep water. And then when you hop off them, unlike some dinos, they don't go shooting to the surface. He's going to sit right here as long as he wants. And he's, he, yeah, he has an oxygen stat, but it's not going down. I mean, look at this. Yeah, uh, no, no. He doesn't even have an oxygen stat. Even though it's right up here. Yeah, that right there threw me off. He, it, yeah. He's not going to drown at all. So we can go all the way down to the very bottom. The only thing I would worry about with these guys, when you're on one of these guys, is a Tuso Toothus or a high-level Tuso Toothus. If a low-level one grabs you, you can generally kill the Tuso just by biting it um, before um, while it's uh, got a hold of you. But also, um, another thing is the Nidaria. Stay away from Nidaria. They're just bad news, all right? Yeah, they're, they're really bad news. A Nidaria will stun lock you, and then you just won't be able to get away. But another good thing about these guys is, say, if this guy was an Alpha, these guys will actually stun lock Alpha Megalodons. Not Alpha Tusos, not Alpha Meg or, uh, Mosas, but they will stun lock Alpha Sharks, which means killing an Alpha Shark with a Megal with a uh, Baryonyx is super easy. Yeah, it's great. It'll take you a little bit of time, but I mean, all you do is go up to it, stun lock it. That sucker's not moving anywhere, and then you're just able to get some free XP, free loot, all sorts of cool stuff. Which is one of the easiest ways that I recommend leveling up um, newly bred Baryonyxes. So yeah, these guys right here, absolutely amazing. I love them to death. They are one of my top three dinos for a reason. So, yeah, I mean, they're super great, super awesome. I can't say enough cool stuff about them, but let me put on, back on my patented leather pants. And then there we go. All right, so sweet. We got, oh, hold on, I got to put on my, my, my metal tennis shoes. All right, there we go. All right, so now that we've got that covered, all right, I think that just about covers it all for the Baryonyx. I mean, and these guys one of the most awesome dinos you possibly can get. So I would thoroughly recommend when you hit level uh, 49 or before, right before you hit level 49, start looking for amazing level Baryonyxes. Uh, I mean, uh, as close to max level as possible, get a couple of them, breed them, imprint on the um, baby, use that baby as your primary mount until you can get like a Thylacolio, something even better, and then use these guys for the caves. They're amazing. I mean, seriously, they are absolutely amazing. All right, so hey, I hope that covers it. If you like the video, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe for more Arc Basics and also silly um, wonky uh, Arc videos. I do soloing the Arc, stuff like that. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. Take it easy, everybody.